Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca and these are the Dynacord V-Series amplifiers. Today I'm going to show you how to easily configure the amplifiers for some common situation. There are 4 and 2 channel versions of this amplifier and today I'm going to be using the 2 channel version for this video. But all of these features are the same on the 4 channel. Alright, let's start by taking a look at the back of the amplifier. We have the power connector, power remote and fault notification relay, the dip switches for amp mode and filter settings, which we will be showing in detail in this video, the balanced inputs with a rotary control, the speaker outputs, the line input via RJ45. For ease of use and quick reference, there is a dip switch guide located here right below the actual dip switches. Let's take a closer look at the dip switches. Located all the way to the right, we see the APD switch, the auto power down. When this is on, it places the amplifier into a low power standby mode after a period of inactivity. When the amp receives the signal again, it will turn right back on. To change the amp from dual to parallel, use this dip switch. Dual means that the levels are controlled independently using the level knobs. When in parallel, the input signal of channel 1 is fed to the second amp channel. The other input routing offered is in 1 to all, which is only on the 4 channel version and when engaged, the level control of channel 1 affects the volume of all four output channels at the same time. Okay, so that is the input routing section. The amp's variable load drive provides the ability to drive 4 ohm, 8 ohm, 70 volt, or 100 volt. That means that only one amp is needed to mix high Z and low Z, 4 ohm and 8 ohm, installed sound system designs. To switch the amplifier into these different modes, we use this section of dip switches. To set the channels to a specific voltage, you simply move the dip switches. Let's set channel 1 to 70 volts. Check the diagram and see that you set the first switch to up and the second switch to down. Now let's set channel 2 to 8 ohms. So on the chart, we can see that the third dip switch is down and the fourth one is up. This is such a nice and simple setup and the diagram totally helps as a reference. The last thing to review is the selectable high and low pass filters. The V-Series has 24 dB octave high and low pass filters that can be set by the dip switches. They allow you to configure the amp for your specific setup or particular environment. There is a choice of two high pass filters and a low pass filter, as well as flat operation. The HP100 is a cut at 100 Hz and is optimized for speech and voice announcements reducing low frequency feedback and mic handling noise. The HP 150, 150 Hertz, is the high pass filter for mid high speakers in a two way system that contains subwoofers. Or you can use it to further reduce low frequency content. The LP 150, a 150 Hertz, is useful when you have subwoofers and you can combine it with the HP 150. Right now, our switches are set for HP 100 across channels one and two. Let's change it and put a high pass 150 on channel 1 and a low pass on channel 2, as if we had a top and sub. You can see how you can set up the amp for your mixed high and low Z systems very easily with this dip switch design. The V-Series amps are super simple to set up and take up little space. They are perfect for use in retail environments, restaurants and bars, or can be combined with larger system solutions for support in theaters, house of worship, hotels, and more. For more tutorial videos like this, please like and subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching.